In this video, we will take a look at placing a cricket behind the fireplace chimney. Let's begin the process in this roof plan view. Under the roof tools is a specific tool to draw a manual roof plane. In the floor plan view, I'm going to come down and I'm going to snap on the edge of the chimney. I'm going to click and drag with my left mouse button, release, and I'm going to go up slope. I'm going to come over onto the chimney. You can see the snap at the midpoint, I'll then left click. That's going to generate the very first roof plane. Press the space bar to get out of that mode. I'm going to click on the edge and then click on the diamond and I'm going to pull that over until it snaps onto the upper segment. At this point, the Cricut looks like it's finished and all I need to do is the same thing on the other side. I want to make sure that this exactly intersects the upper roof plane. To create this intersection, where the roof plane intersects exactly into the larger roof plane, I'm going to project the intersection point. You can find this tool underneath your preferences. Under the architectural panel is the automatic place roof intersection points option in your preferences. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on the side of the larger roof plane, click on the other side of the smaller roof plane, and as you zoom in, you can actually see the projected point. I'm going to pull the roof plane back and snap it onto that point. And now I have the initial Cricut created. While it's still selected, I'm going to use the Copy tool, Reflect About, and position the other side of the Cricut. In the 3D view, as we rotate around, you can see that we've now placed the Cricut exactly behind the fireplace to divert any of the moisture. As you click on the roof plane and you generate roof intersection points, you may have several of these temporary CAD points placed in your plan. To remove those CAD points, you'll find the option underneath your point tool, and the tool is called Delete Temporary Points. That will then remove any of your temporary points you've placed. You can go back into your preferences and turn off your roof intersections if that tool is no longer required. To learn more about creating roof crickets, please see our knowledge base articles available from our website. Thanks for watching.